What? Good fam, and welcome back. Oh wow, I'm, I've been gone a while. Well, I know, and it's just been hella hectic, I guess you could say, and the whole Rona thing has been horrible. The good news is, we got new baby! Well, birdie. Rabbit passed on. Uh, but we got more birds. Of course, we already know there's Charles, Sky, Tank, Tracer, and Lerona! And yes, we did name our bird Little Ron. And he gets a vicious! He vicious! Fat! You mean? You mean bird? Fat. <laughs> but the only fatality we've had has been Baby Bunny, who was literally a very old bunny. He, he, he lived a long fruitful bunny life. Yeah, we're outside. It's cold as hell and weird. Well, of course, I walk over here and it stops. Oh, what is it, Patchy? What is it, Patchy? Patchy! Oh, there it is. Windy. And it's like super windy, super cold. We're like in the 30s. Really? So, yeah. Seriously. In the bloody thirties. No. I don't like the cold. If you all ain't figured that out, I hate the frickin' cold. It's it's bad doodles. Very bad doodles. And they're giving for horrible weather tonight until tomorrow, so maybe we'll have to know. The next one. Who knows? But yeah, I know I've been away a while. It's just been going through some stuff issues <laughs> but all is somewhat better <laughs> somewhat better god where where, do, where in the gold's his names did i learn to speak Cause my english is failing me today it's so bad so bad so yeah i got this one my newest bling look at that so we got the runes and chakra stones, so yeah, I'm loving it, dearly loving it, but yeah, we're just waiting on the bus food wagon because the schools are still bringing food for the wee ones and even better than that got little man ready. He gets to go to school today for two hours. But he is looking forward to uh, gravel truck. So, yeah. All the funs of living close to a highway. <laughs> you get drowned out by a gravel truck. Or as I still call them, a freaking coal truck. Because, yeah. When I was little, they were called coal trucks. Now, they're gravel trucks, because, yeah, government is being mean. <laughs> Which, finally, I've been getting up to date on the anime, and I'm also going to give a little briefing on that. I've been watching Jackson Pine. However you say her name, technically, it's about twins. Shishamaru has half demon twins. Still controversy on who the mama is, and it's all according like the time set on whether it equals into what most people's thought is, which would be Ren, because he was like totally attached to Ren about in one of the movies. Not movies, but in one of the episodes, literally about cried when she was technically killed again. And the only human he could tolerate. So, yeah, it's just it's either she changed him a whole Hades of a lot, the way he could tolerate humans, or we got baby mama. <laughs> well, baby's mama. But 
real jerk. He takes them after, I think they're only like a little while after they're born and sh just shoves them in the woods. Fend for yourself. Then it turns out that one of the twins becomes the demon slayer. The bounty hunter thingy and there's these rainbow crystal thingies and I don't know I've only watched two episodes and I'm hooked can't help it, it but it, it's it's pretty fly it, it's cool I like it I like it uh, the half demon princess is uh, also what is called Yasu Hain. I'm half demon princess I believe is what it's called Ah, uh, sucky memory. But I've been watching it. It's really, really good so far. And it turns out Sota adopted one of the twins who somehow made a portal thingy and ended up in Kagomi's original timeline as Sota being an adult now. That tells you how many years had passed. So there is a possibility that it is Rin. Because Rin, in her timeline, would be about the age of Sota in his timeline, so... Yeah. So Sota's an adult, married, got a kid. Before he has his kid, he adopts one of the twins. That somehow made a portally thingy mob. Yeah, they... they, they. It's not because they got Inuyasha as an uncle and Shishamaru as a father. Nah. Nah. Okay, yeah, that makes total sense, I guess. But I would actually highly advise you guys watch that. It, it's freaking awesome. I, I personally love it. If you liked Inuyasha, you will definitely love this one. It's basically almost the same type of genre. But a little bit different all at the same time, and it's it's funny. Me in its own right, the first episode, and she just goes hogs ham on these idiots. Yeah. yeah, just watch it and you'll get what I'm saying because I I'm probably stuck at descriptions. No wait, I know I suck at descriptions. And so yeah, I've been chilling with some anime. With my baby boy. The one said I can watch with him. <laughs> so, yeah, we kind of went back to, like, the 90s a little bit, too, with him. To some of the more child-friendly ones, like Sailor Moon. The English-dubbed one. Not, not, not the Japanese one, because Japanese one, yeah. They, they didn't cut good stuff. Whereas in America, they cut most of the good stuff. And the American dubbed Dragon Ball Z. Because if I let him watch the sub, even though I can figure out what they're saying, yeah, they don't cut none of the good stuff out. Yay, dubbed. It's dubbed. Even though I do catch myself watching a ton of subbed. Because they haven't come out in America yet and sitting there thinking, damn it, we need this and dubbed as well so I don't have to read the subtitles. <laughs> Because I'm lazy and I don't want to read subtitles. But, yeah. It's, it's, I don't know. I just been, and then for a few others I've watched, I just went down the list on Country Roll and just picked one at total freaking random. I've also watched the English dubbed of Death Parade. Now that one was pretty awesome. It doesn't have a lot of episodes, so if you want like a short based anime then Death Parade is the way to go because it's I think you do lucky if it has like 10 episodes and that's like the whole thing in Shebang I mean they there's not many episodes but it's really really good it gets you completely interested it has a good storyline and the ending makes sense once you find out what it's about the ending makes sense complete sense, which is rare when you have a short-based anime. 
and on Netflix. I swear I am so interested and want to see The Blood of Zeus. Is it a whole video, movie, anime, cartoon thingy that basically is Zeus being Zeus? <laughs> Actually, that's what I'm kind of hoping for, you know, and the god Apollo, yeah, he's one of my favorite. he's actually one of my patron deities. My two patron deities are Demeter and Apollo, so, yeah, I kind of hope they're both in there. I think they are, and I think it's basically Zeus being Zeus, and we, we all know how that fella couldn't keep his shot down on! We all know that! History says that! Every ounce of mythology... Zeus is producing, producing more babies than anything. And the funniest one, I believe, is Dionysus. Even though he is one of the 12 main Olympian gods, he started out as a demigod. Which I thought was amazing. Totally amazing. That he literally started out as a demigod. His mama was pregnant with him when Zeus came back to her, but Hera had told her that he wasn't tell showing her the full truth to ask to see his real self. Well, she did, and she was burned alive because godly power, the essence, and mortals don't get along, apparently. So, he takes the unborn baby because it's not old enough to be born yet, Dionysus, from the mama's belly, and literally sold him to his sold him in a skin pouch on his thigh <laughs> to finish developing no wonder he turned out to be the god of wine and parties and pretty well ecstasy and crazies if you are attached to somebody's thigh I think that warp ya poor fella so, naturally, he was a demigod, who was blessed to become a god when he hit age. And in being so, Hestia gives up her seat on the council for Dionysus. Gotta have a party, dude, man. Even though I don't party, which is probably why he's not one of my major deities. He is one of my favorite stories. To read about one of my favorite ones to read about but not a patreon that still goes to Demeter and Apollo so yeah I, I, I might be a little biased but whatever there and what most people don't know is the symbol on most medications and and that doctors uses of the snake wound the stick with wings is actually the symbol of Hermes. It's his catalyst. Who oh, no. knew? Apparently, I know too damn much. I hope I don't get struck with lightning because I put the blue. I'm kidding, y'all. I'm not getting struck with lightning today. I totally pissed him off yet, but whatever. Anyway, on with the story. Anyways, so, in other terms, that is one warped up family tree. If you all ever look it up, ah, no, yeah. It turns out Demeter's daughter belongs to Zeus. Persephone is the daughter of Demeter and Zeus because Demeter was running around as a cute little white filly. Zeus gets the big idea of, hmm, she won't let me tap it any other way, so we're gonna turn to a horse! <laughs> So, yeah, he turns into a horse, gets with his sister, Persephone is created, but then to Aphrodite is made from sea foam, so, yeah, and, yeah, oh, Pandora was literally created in Hephaestus' forge, so he, he literally just created her. He is her creator and her father. She has no mama. They eat no baby mama on that one. And it, it's weird. I, I mean, look up some of the Greek mythology stories and I swear part of them are weird. And it makes you scratch your head and question. But if you are like me, you don't question very much. You're just like, yep. Sounds that way. 
Because I don't need to get cursed today, please. Anywho. So, yeah, I'm going to get on here uh, when I can. And I'm going to try to give some lowdown on some stuff that I'm finding that is very, very interesting and knowledgeable. Also, on some new anime that I found, even if they're not exactly new, but they're new to me. Because I just found them. And I watched them. And I got the basic gist. And I like them. Or I will watch them, get the basic gist, and tell you whether I would give it... 10 rating or a what did I just watch because I have done that before I have watched an anime and then literally turn around and say what the hell did I just watch that makes no sense but thankfully the two that I have most recently watched has made so far a lot of sense and one was a short base so I gotta watch the entire thing and that would be death parade so I will be seeing you guys in the next episode, and hopefully I will have some more cool and maybe annoying stories to tell that I have found very interesting, aka like the story of Dionysus and Persephone, even though I didn't add the part that literally she was adopted by her uncle, so whatever, whatever, I mean, the, the gods don't have DNA, they can do whatever they want, I mean, they're gods, they can... Really do whatever they want and nobody will say a bad thing about it. Unless you're me and you just really like tempting fate. Once too many times. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Till then, stay awesome. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.